I think anyone that's ever bathed the horse or even just spent 30 minutes getting them really clean and tidy has then experienced the frustration of putting them out in the field, seeing them find the muddiest or the dustiest spot and roll and get completely dirty again. So I'm Callie, you're watching the weekly show here at CRK Training. And in today's episode, we're looking at the specific behavior of rolling and why do horses do this? So as a trainer, I'm always looking to better understand horse behavior and to just understand why horses do the things that they do. Sometimes as people, you know, we value different things than our horses value. And some of the behaviors that they do, we forget that they can actually have um, a, a physical reason behind them. And rolling is one of these things. Rolling is believed to have a few different purposes for the horse. The first one is that it's self-grooming. So it's a way that the horse basically provides some grooming for themselves by getting down and rolling. One of the reasons why they seem to always prefer those dirtiest spots though, instead of picking a nice grassy area to roll, is it's also thought that by getting that thin layer of dust or getting that layer of mud, they're actually providing themselves with a certain amount of sunscreen, protection against the sun, as well as protection against insects. So rolling really does have a purpose for horses. It's also something that probably just feels good to them. It's sometimes believed that it might have some almost like chiropractic and self-adjustment benefits by getting down and rolling around. The other thing that rolling can actually be is also a, an indicator for some horses of their uh, mental state as well. In last week's episode, we talked about the idea of pacifying behavior and how there's certain things that horses do to self-soothe. And when we can observe our own horse or a specific horse, we can start to notice the specific behaviors that they do for self-soothing. And it gives us some insight into what their uh, stress level might be at the moment. And rolling is actually one of those things. For some horses, they'll only go down and they'll only roll when they're feeling really comfortable. But for other horses, rolling can actually be a way of, again, kind of making them feel better, having a little bit of self-soothing. So if they're a little stressed, they're a little frustrated, getting down and rolling is a way for them to relieve some of that. So just like in that other episode where I encouraged you to observe your horse for those different pacifying behaviors, I'd love for you to watch your horse's habits around rolling. When do they tend to do it? Some common places that horses roll is after they've had a bath, when they're wet, and I think they actually wanna feel some of that dirt and dust on them again. Um, other times that horses will often roll is if they've been confined for a while. If they've been in a stall and suddenly they're turned out, they'll also roll a lot of times after a ride. And some horses I'll notice rolling if they've had a particularly maybe stressful experience or a more stressful training session, and then when they get released, whether it's turn loose in the arena, turn loose in their pasture, they'll go out and they'll take a roll. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and your observations. Two questions for you. The first one is, when is the time that you've noticed your horse rolling? Is it the same as the ones that I've mentioned or maybe is it something a little bit different? And the second question, is there another behavior that you've seen your horse doing that you've always kind of wondered why do they do that? Is there a, another reason um, for the horse doing that behavior? So I would love to hear those and maybe I can answer some more questions for you. Scroll down, leave a comment. If you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, make sure to go there. We have hours of free video there. You can also access a free mini course, seven days to understanding your horse to learn more about basic horse behavior.